Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Bilal. In today's video, I'm going to actually make some sentences using present indefinite tense. If you have watched my last video, I made some sentences using present simple tense. But today, I'm again making some more sentences using present indefinite tense because this is a highly requested question by my students and they have requested to just make more and more sentences using present indefinite tense so that we become master using present indefinite tense. So that's why I'm repeating the same sentences or some other sentences using present indefinite tense. So let's jump right in. The first sentence is, I get up early in the morning. So what you have to do is, you have to construct using this structure with different pronouns. You get up early in the morning. They get up early in the morning. We get up early in the morning. He gets up early in the morning. She gets up early in the morning. Okay, got it? Let's move on. I am going to clean my hands. I brush my teeth. You brush your teeth. They brush their teeth. We brush our teeth. He brushes his teeth. She brushes her teeth. Got it? Let's move on. I take a shower. You take a shower. They take a shower. He takes a shower. She takes a shower. Max takes a shower. Aslam and Akram take a shower. Understand? Let's move on. I take my family with my family. I take my breakfast with my family. I take my breakfast with my family. You take your breakfast with your family. They take their breakfast with their family. We take our breakfast with our family. He takes his breakfast with his family. She takes her breakfast with her family. I hope you are understanding the difference, the way I'm speaking, the way I'm changing with the main verb. The way I'm changing this S and ES with different verbs. So just you have to keep in mind. Okay. So repeat this again and again. With the passage of time, you will become master in English. What you have to do is you just you have to pause the video. Just imitate me. Try to copy my sentences and repeat and repeat and repeat again and again. So that you become master speaking these sentences in your daily life. Let's move on. मैं अखबार पढ़ता हूँ। I read the newspaper. You read the newspaper. They read the newspaper. We read the newspaper. He reads the newspaper. She reads the newspaper. Max reads the newspaper. Max and Johnson read the newspaper. Let's move on. मैं सात बजे घर से निकलता हूँ। I leave the house at seven a.m. You leave the house at 7 a.m. She leaves the house at 7 a.m. He leaves the house at 7 a.m. We leave. We. We leave the house at 7 a.m. They leave the house at 7 a.m. Max leaves the house at 7 a.m. Max and Johnson leave the house at 7 a.m. मैं बस स्टॉप पर पैदल जाता हूँ। I walk to the bus stop. You walk to the bus stop. They walk to the bus stop. We walk to the bus stop. She walks to the bus stop. He walks to the bus stop. Max walks to the bus stop. I reach the office on time. You reach the office on time. They reach the office on time. Max reaches the office on time. 
Julia reaches the office on time. So these were the simple sentences. I have what I have done is I have made different sentences using different pronouns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these sentences in in different form. Now I'm going to change these sentences into interrogative form. Okay, so let's move on. Do you get up early in the morning? Yani kya aap jaldi uthte ho? Do you get up early in the morning? Do we get up early in the morning? Do they get up early in the morning? Does she get up early in the morning? Does he get up early in the morning? Does Julia get up early in the morning? Do Max and Johnson get up early in the morning? So see the changes? I hope you are understanding the way I'm making these sentences, okay? So what you have to keep in your mind is with he, she, it or with singular name, you have to use the helping verb does or with the I, V, U, they or plural name. If there is interrogative sentence, you have to use helping verb do. Okay, so let's move on. Kya main brush karta hun? Do I brush my teeth? Do you brush your teeth? Do they brush their teeth? Do we brush our teeth? Does he brush his teeth? Does she brush her teeth? Does Julia brush her teeth? Do Max and Johnson brush their teeth? I hope you are understanding. Let's move on. I take a shower. So that was simple. Do you take a shower? Do I take a shower? Do you take a shower? Do they take a shower? Do we take a shower? Do Max and Johnson take a shower? Does Julia take a shower? Okay, got it? So what you have to keep in mind is when you are using helping, helping verb and sentence is interrogative, so you don't need to add S and ES with he, she, it, or if there is a singular name. So you don't need to add S and ES with the main verb, okay? So you have to like go with a simple sentence, the way I'm telling you, like, do you brush your teeth? Does he brush his teeth? Does she brush her teeth? There is no S or ES with main verb, okay? If there is a helping verb, do or does, there is no change in main verb. I eat my breakfast with my family. So how to make it interrogative? Do you eat your breakfast with your family? Do we eat our breakfast with our family? Do they take their breakfast with their family? Do Max and Johnson take their breakfast with their family? Does Julia take her breakfast with her family? So I hope you are understanding the changes. I'm not making you understand. I'm not writing something on whiteboard. I'm not giving you the classroom presentation. I'm not giving you the classroom teaching style, the boring style, which is the boring for students. Students are act not active in the class. They are like sleeping. They are passive. They're low body. They have low energy. And so they're not active in the class. But I'm telling you present indefinite tense with different styles. So you become master in present indefinite tense and so that you can tackle the real situation in your real life and you become master speaking English using present simple tense. Understand? Let's move on. I drink a glass of water. Do you drink a glass of water? Does she drink a glass of water? Does he drink a glass of water? Do you drink a glass of water? Do we drink a glass of water? Do Aslam and Akram 
drink a glass of water? Does Julia drink a glass of water? Let's move on. So don't get bored, okay? Just relax, chill out, have a smile on your face. And you're listening to me. And you're repeating, you're imitating me what I'm saying. And you are enjoying at the same time. Let's move on. Do you read the newspaper? Do we read the newspaper? Does she read the newspaper? Does he read the newspaper? Does Julia read the newspaper? Do Max and Johnson read the newspaper? So these are interrogative sentences. Okay? Main office ke liye I get ready for the office. Do you get ready for the office? Do we get ready for the office? Do they get ready for the office? Do Max and Johnson get ready for the office? Does Julia get ready for the office? So these are simple sentences. So what I'm doing is I'm making them interrogative sentences using same sentences. And these are the sentences you can use them in real situation in natural English language. This is the language that is spoken on daily basis. But unfortunately, what happens with our speaking, we get confused and we are unable to convey our message to the other person. Let's move on. I leave the house at 7 a.m. Do you leave the house at 7 a.m.? Do we leave the house at 7 a.m.? Do they leave the house at 7 a.m.? Does Julia leave the house at 7 a.m.? Do Max and Johnson leave the house at 7 a.m.? So these are the sentences. These are the interrogative sentences, not interrogative sentences. Okay, let's move on. I walk to the bus stop. Do you walk to the bus stop? Do I walk to the bus stop? Do they walk to the bus stop? Do you walk to the bus stop? Does he walk to the bus stop? Does he walk to the bus stop? Does Julia walk to the bus stop? Do Max and Johnson walk to the bus stop? So these are the interrogative sentences. Let's continue. My office fuck per I reach the office on time. Do I reach the office on time? Do you reach the office on time? Do they reach the office on time? Does she reach the office on time? Does he reach the office on time? Does Julia reach the office on time? So that was all about today from me side. What I have done is I have made simple sentences using different pronouns. And then I have changed these sentences into interrogative form. So that you become master speaking these sentences in your daily life. Just take it easy. Just relax. Just be patient. And just keep practicing English. English is super easy. English is learning super easy, supreme easy, I would say. Learning is so fun. I remember uh, when I was taking my classes from my tutors, from English teachers, my teacher used to say, just take it easy, just relax, shoulder up, chin up, and have a big grin on your face. And you are attending your lecture. If you are active in the class, if you are taking lecture physically and mentally with 100% devotion, with 100% keen interest, and everything is going deep, 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 deep into your brain very far. There is no chance for forgetting those words, but you have learned deeply and they have went deep into your brain very far. And you're never going to forget those words forever in your life. So at the end, I would just say, if you have liked this video, just go under this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell icon and never forget to leave the precious comment below so that I will keep uploading this content for you guys. But last thing 
If you want to improve your English, if you want to become fluent in English, if you want to take your English to the next level, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is on screen. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep watching MB Pakistan. Bye-bye.